What's up guys, my name is Jeff, I'm the owner of RDR Gear in Salt Lake City, Utah, and today we're going to talk about a new pistol that has hit the market. Um, I believe it's been out for a minute, but I had not known about this pistol until a customer of mine had mentioned if I had seen one or shot one. <clears throat> and so I figured, you know what, let me grab one. It was unique enough to see, and when I went to a local gun shop and touched one, I had to have one to check it out because when you say pistols and Mossberg, kind of a weird combination but what we have is the Mossberg MC2C the box that comes there this kind of a pizza box style like a little personalized pizza um, you open it up I did take the plastic wrap off the pistol it does come with two mags your standard lock system a live long Mossberg brace band or maybe this could be maybe a ring of for maybe I don't know anyway so uh, your standard safety stuff 115 round mag 150 round mag and the pistol itself so let's uh, hit the range and shoot this thing. All right, so let's talk. We're gonna shoot this thing. So Mossberg MC2C. We'll start with the 15 round magazine. So let's shoot this sucker. Not bad. That mag release is money. Not bad at all. Not bad. I really like is how that mag just drops without even moving my hand or anything. So that's super cool. That'd be super helpful for someone who's like just working mag changes is the gun doesn't have to change direction. It just literally can stay out front. So again, and anybody who's watching, anybody who teaches you to mag change this way is retarded. So bring that gun to a workspace, drop the mag, bring the gun back in, work with it, and get your reps in, right? None of this out here extending mags, you know. It's, it's not a shake weight, okay? So, all right. Let's uh, load up another bag and kind of Give another whirl. It's like nine dollars each here. Not bad at all. I actually will probably keep this pistol. I'm really digging the fact that that flush fit magazine still fits in the hand. The pinkies don't fall off the end. Super cool. All right. So that is the uh, first impression of the Mossberg MC2C. Nine mil, compact handgun, super, I'm impressed, I really am. Well, well done Mossberg, very well done. Let's head back to the studio and we'll go over some of the details and features of the pistol that I really do like and I'll share with you what design features Mossberg put in this pistol that really does say Mossberg's on the right track with this pistol. All right guys, what's up? We're back at the studio and we are gonna talk about the Mossberg MC2C. So earlier today we were at the range, we shot this gun. Do a little recap on the package that it comes with. It's like the personal pan pizza box because when you get the, the pistol, you open it and it's like a pizza box and here's your pistol. It comes uh, basically cellophane to the inner box, which is kind of strange. So it's a unique, maybe that's how they cut costs for packaging, I'm not for sure. But um, that's that. So the pistol comes with two magazines, a 13 round flush fit, and a 15 round extended magazine. And of course your lock and all that uh, manual stuff. So the Mossberg MC2C. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of like a, a Glock 48 and a 19 kind of mixed together. Because the slide top end is very narrow and it's crazy, but when you pick this pistol up, you would think it's a single stack pistol. It's very thin in the body. Well, the other cool factor is that with the 15 round magazine, I don't have a huge hands, but it fits my hand very nicely. And the 13 round flush fit magazine 
fits really nicely as well. So I don't have my pinky hanging off the bottom of the frame. This really is a great, great feature that I like a lot. Another thing they did really well is the stippling. They're kind of like these triangles on both sides, but what's cool about them, when you index the pistol and you wrap your fingers around the gun, they actually, the stippling lands on places where your hands are actually making contact. So even though the whole frame's not stippled, these two areas are very well thought out. So again, that's a really cool feature. You've got front checkering, or excuse me, front cock inspiration, the rear cock inspirations. These are dovetailed sights as well. So you can put whatever set of sights you want in there. I happen to just have a loose SIG P320 front sight, uh, what's like a tritium uh, hybrid up front, and then I just blacked out the rear. It's a little tall, but for today's purposes, it worked out well because it was a little tough to see the three dot white sights. They do come in three dot whites. I do understand that from Mossberg, you can order this gun with what they call their Pro Series sights, and it's a three dot night sight tile system. I don't know if you really need night sights per se, but a quality fiber optic front and a blacked out rear would be a solid option uh, in regards to sights. So let's move on to the pistol. When you look at the gun, the stippling, as I mentioned earlier, from the grip goes to the front. The gas pedal sections, for me being a right-handed shooter, to put my thumb on this side, is another really well thought out feature on the pistol. It's not only has a good quality checkering there, it's, kind of, it's got a good texture, it's kind of convex as well, so my thumb can actually get some contact and stay in there once I grip the pistol. The other side is cool because the index finger has a place as well. So there's a tactile touch that you can actually know and feel that that's a different texture than the slide or other parts of the frame. Super cool feature there. The undercut is not super deep, but it's enough to where my hand, I'm hanging on this gun and ain't going nowhere. So that's a really cool feature there. The one, well I should say two things that are my two favorite things on this pistol. Number one, the agency-esque looking trigger. This flat face trigger, which normally is kind of wonky, but it is a very clean break on the trigger. The reset is, is very clean and audible as well. This shot very well today. The trigger is very easy to reset, shoot to reset the recoil, as well as click bang if I needed to do so as well. It was a very easy gun to shoot today. The, out of the two features I mentioned, probably my number one is the very well thought out mag release. Oftentimes, First new shooters have to grab a pistol. They have to augment the hand to get the mag release. Some people do it on Glock, some on MPs, etc. The way this gun is designed and the way the magazine positioning is, you don't have to do anything. Literally just reach down and grab it. Even the 15 rounder, it doesn't clear, it clears my palm. It makes mag changes very easy to get onto the gun. So again, this is very well thought out. So overall, Moss did a really great job. For my research, these are coming around 390 to four and a quarter, depending on where you shop, and also depending on what sight system you get. The two magazines, the 15 rounder and the 13 rounder, if you are in the market for a sub 450 handgun, this is definitely one to truly consider. This is a Mossberg MC2C from Mossberg. That is my final thoughts on MC2C. If you're looking for that small subcompact pistol in that sub price range of 450, so you can buy and check this thing out, hit your local gun store, see if they have a rental option for you. As always, we post two to three videos every week, so swing by, check it out, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.